Want to know how to make your kids independent? We're going to dive into the three mistakes that you may be doing that are messing with your child developing their independence. I'm Nicole Santa Maria, pediatric occupational therapist for over 25 years. First thing that I see people do over and over and over again is we are constantly trying to fix things for our kids versus how can we fix this together versus what ideas do you have versus wow what are you going to do about it second thing i see all the time is we criticize our kids when they screw up when they make a mistake we jump right in and just criticize let them know that they did it wrong what were you thinking how could you you did you should all the things when they're really processing that emotion themselves and by us coming in and criticizing on top a lot of times what it does is it just dampens their desire to try again their desire to come up with a solution their desire to debrief and be like damn i really messed that up well is it because of a b and c um maybe next time i can try this instead when we come in and we criticize their brain kind of just either shuts down or they get really pissed off at us and they just argue with us. And then all of a sudden it's about the arguing with us, not about, man, I messed up. Why did I mess up? That wasn't my intention. How can I fix it? And of course, depending where they're at, either we can help them come up with ideas or we can just ask, wow, how are you going to fix that? That stinks. Sorry it happened to you. You know, then this one may be a little controversial, but that's okay. Uh, waiting for natural consequences to help them figure out how to be independent. Well, they'll figure it out. If they turn in enough late assignments, they'll figure out how to turn it in on time. If they miss enough play dates because they didn't know how to clean up their room after I asked them 5,000 times, they're going to figure it out. Folks, some kids do figure it out, but the majority of us, we need a lot more specific, explicit, and detailed feedback to learn these executive functioning skills that help us launch into independence. So that whole business of natural consequences, you know, yes, it does work for a small percent of the kids. Um, but for most of the kids, especially that have kids that have any executive functioning differences, any struggles with any areas of executive functioning, they're not, they're just gonna keep making the same mistake 5,000 times. So that natural consequences doesn't work when we're trying to make our kids independent. I can't wait for you to stop and analyze and see what you're doing, if you're fixing, if you're criticizing, or if you're waiting the natural consequences to magically help your child figure it out. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to know how, what can we actually do to build these executive functioning skills that we're really gonna launch your child into be the independent uh, student, independent middle schooler, independent high schooler, adult that we want them to be. So watch the next video below and I can't wait to see you guys uh, in the next video.